Hi everybody, welcome to my Ultra VNC tutorial. The idea here today is to install Ultra VNC in two computers and have Win uh, Ultra VNC running as a server in one of uh, one of the, the the PCs, and then the other one I'm just going to install the Ultra VNC viewer. And in that case, from the viewer computer, I'm going to be able to view the computer that you're serving. So and I can control it or I can view only whatever I want to do. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I had five my remote desktop uh, tutorial and then. Uh, I got quite a few emails asking pe people asking, "Oh, how can I control somebody's computer? Or how can how can I see what they're doing without without uh, them knowing?" So this is one way to do it. So I'll show you that. Uh, first thing here is to download Ultra VNC. This is going to be my viewer PC. This is what I'm going to use to access the other the other computer. So I'm going to uh, initiate Firefox here. From Google, I'm just going to Google Ultra VNC, and that's going to take me here. I'm just going to click on the download section. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page here, um, you have the Ultra VNC setup file. So download this file. I'm going to save it. And now that it's saved, just find the file and and run it. So you have choice here of uh, three different languages. I'm just going to install the English language. I'm going to click next, accept the agreement, click next, next. It's going to ask you where do you want to install it. I'm just going to use the default path. Here we go. This is going to be my viewer computer. So if you click on the drop down, by default, it offers you the full installation. So you're going to install the server and the viewer. If you click on the drop down here, you have the option to install viewer only. So that's what I'm going to do. Pick viewer and then click next. Uh, click next again and next and install just gonna run it really quick, quick, uh, really quick and finalize it so now we have Ultra VNC installed in this PC okay if you go to start programs Ultra VNC there it is I'm just gonna send a shortcut to the desktop here send to desktop create shortcut okay good so we already installed our Ultra VNC here on the uh, uh, on the viewer computer. Now let's go back. Let's go to my uh, laptop. Okay, so now this is my laptop. I already have done the uh, Ultra VNC download and installation. The only difference from what I told you earlier is that instead of doing the server only installation, I actually did the full installation, which doesn't matter. But if you want to save some space, which is very small, just do the server only, just like I advised in the beginning. So let's go ahead and start the Ultra VNC server in this computer. And for that, I'm going to go into Start All Programs Ultra VNC. And if if you use the uh, if you use the default path, it should be in the same place. So I'm going to click on Ultra VNC server here, and that's going to put a icon on my tray. And uh, for me to configure, I'm just going to right click it and go into Admin Properties. Okay. Once I'm here, uh, in this incoming connection part, just leave everything as default. By default, it uses port 5900. One thing that you do need to do here is the VNC password. So I'm going to go ahead and set up one for me. I'm not sharing with you what that is. So it, anyways, it doesn't matter. But um, just set up a, a unique password for yourself. And let's talk about a few of the options here. Remove wallpaper from viewers. Um, just like I mentioned earlier, I received emails from people that wanted to use this to be able to uh, watch their children or employees or whatever. If you are going to do that, um, you have you have to unflag this. You cannot leave this uh, turned on. If you leave it like this, what's going to happen is that whenever you connect from the uh, from your computer into this computer, the wallpaper is going to go away. So in this case, this is not going to be there anymore. In my case, and it's just going to have whatever the default is, a blue or black screen, whatever it is. So you definitely want to turn this off um, by removing. By, by by removing the wallpaper, your your connection speed is going to be a lot a, a bit faster. You'll be able to be able to see the screen in a, uh, better frames. But by removing it, they will know you connect. The same thing with the enable blank monitor and viewers request. If you if you um, if you um, turn this on, what's going to happen is that the monitor is going to is going to is going to go blank for a second. And then if somebody's doing something wrong, they might know that something's going on. I don't know if they'll know that you're watching them, but something's going on. And here's another thing too. Um, there's this big old <laughs> eye on your tray, so if you're trying to watch somebody, that's probably not a good thing. You want to 
click on disable tray icon okay so turn that on click apply click OK it's still gonna be there so I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to start all programs ultra VNC you start the server now the server started but it's not there anymore okay now to verify that this server is working uh, I'm gonna go back to my computer and I'm gonna try to connect to this computer now here's the thing let me just talk to you about this really quick I am connecting from one computer to the, to, to the other one in a local area network okay so I'm not I don't have any problems with uh, a router blocking a port or anything like that if you're at, if you're going to access from the from a different location for a remote location through the internet you should watch my uh, remote desktop uh, tutorial that talks about firewalls and you should follow the same instructions on that video for this one okay so you have to you have to open port 5900 you have to check for firewalls like if you have Norton firewall or a Windows firewall you can either disable it or open a hole for that program okay um, alright let's go to my other computer and see if we can connect to this one okay so we're back here and uh, let's go ahead and try to connect to that my, my let's try to connect to my laptop so for that click on ultra VNC um, the system is going to uh, ask you for the ultra VNC server IP address okay so my local local area network IP address for that computer is 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 101 okay if it's a certain IP address then you're gonna have to find out what that is you can go to www.ipchicken.com that's right ipchicken.com will give you your external IP address okay let me talk to you about a few of the flags here the quick connection options I always leave as auto now here's the thing if you want if you want to see what people are doing okay you want to select view only and the reason why you, why why you should do this is because once you connect you and you, if you don't turn that on you're gonna have you're gonna have access to their mouse and keyboard and you might end up moving their mouse and keyboard and um, they might have a problem with that uh, so I'm gonna unflag that because I want to show you a few things but again if you're just trying to watch somebody click view only auto scaling I think this is a very good option okay when you turn this on it it puts their screen into one full screen on yours so let's go ahead and see how that works so once you put the IP address in there, you click connect, and it's going to ask you for the password. And this password is the password that you, that you uh, chose earlier. So let me go ahead and type that in, and I'm going to click log on. And there you go. Ah, here we go. I'm connected. Okay, so I can right click, and it's just like using, uh, just like using the regular computer. So you have, I have my computer over here in the back, where I can use start and all this stuff. And then this window right here, I have my laptop. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. Um, there are a few options up here that I want to show you. You can also open file transfer, so you can transfer files between the computers. Um, otherwise, it's the same thing. So keep in mind, keep in mind that this is a local area network connection. If you are connecting from an outside location into into where the uh, server is, you might have to take care of, of firewalls and uh, open ports on your router. So with that in mind, that concludes my, uh, my Ultra VNC tutorial. Thank you for watching.